Hi everyone, welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. My name's Stephen and this is another 24-7 uh, news report. Hope everyone has a good new year. Um, and with the new year and the transfer window opening, we've got a lot more news to bring you. Um, so we're going to start off today with Cenk Tosin. I know this, uh, a lot of Evertonians have seen this one today and being quite optimistic about it. Um, obviously he hasn't played at all. He was didn't hardly got a touch of the ball the other night when he came on against West Ham. Um, and that is West Brom are in talks with Everton over purchasing Cheng Tosin, so that's a good good news if I ever heard it. Um, obviously he's he's been loaned out uh, before and he's just come straight back. Um, so it would be really good to see if um, if we can get him off the books permanently and get someone else in to replace him. Um, he's said to be warming to the offer from West Brom, so obviously he's seen. Um, you know, Big Sam back in charge there. Who signed him? Uh, you know, Sam Alzey signed him for us. So, um, don't rule this that one out from happening. It looks like it could actually happen. And the fact that it's it's getting, um, you know, closer and closer with him warming to it. Uh, and that's coming from um, Ekrem Konor. I think that's a Turkish source on uh, Twitter. But... Um, yeah, I'll be made up if we can get some money for Tosin and, or just get him out the door, basically, because he hasn't played. He hasn't been good when he has played. And, um, yeah, it'd be a good one if we can get him out. Moving on to an incoming, and that is Max Ahrens, the Norwich defender. I'm really happy about this one um, that we're being linked with him because, obviously, we need a replacement for Seamus Coleman, 100%. He just, he just looked out of it when he's played most times this season. So, you know, he was good at the early start part of the season, but um, coming back after, you know, after that injury he had a couple of weeks ago, he hasn't been the same player. And um, I think he might do all right as, as backup, but we need a good young right back to come in. Um, and I think Max Adams, it looks like, looks like that could be um, Everton's option. And this one's coming from Team Talk, and they say that Everton are leading the race to sign Max Ahrens. Um, yeah, I'll be really made up if this one goes through, and especially the fact that we just signed Ben Godfrey from Norwich as well. Um, and you know, we've we've dealt with Norwich recently. It you know that that could benefit us in trying to get this one over the line. Um, and they preferably want to sell him in the summer, so they're obviously gonna you know uh, Norwich doing really well at the moment. Um, Shout out to Jack and Chris from TNC if, if you're watching. Uh, they're obviously flying high uh, in the championship and it looks like they're going to get promoted. So um, I think they're probably going to wait to see if they can get his value up a little bit at the end of the season and um, you know seeing if they can get a bit more money for him. Um, maybe me rethink, you know, maybe Max Adams is going to wait to rethink his options at the end of the season. But I'm really hopeful about this one. I, if this happens, I'll be made up, I'll be over the moon because we need a good young right back who's fast, good defensively, and um, can progress with the team. So I think Max Allen's would be a really, really good addition. Uh, moving on to a goalkeeper, finally, um, and that is Granada goalkeeper Rui Silva. Uh, Everton have apparently offered him a contract to join the club in the summer and this one's coming from Raphael Lamella on Twitter and he's saying that uh, Everton have offered Granada goalkeeper Rui Silva a contract to join the club in the summer it's obviously one of these pre-contracts and um, he was obviously joined on a free transfer we need a goalkeeper that's no lie um, 100% need a goalkeeper we need a solid goalkeeper I don't know anything about him Rui Silva I, I've never heard of him but if he's a first team goalkeeper who can, you know, better Jordan Pickford, then that it's it's a no brainer for me. If if we can get him on a free transfer and he's a good goalkeeper, why not go for it? Um and there's also Real Betis, Sevilla and Valencia are also interested in them. But we've seen before that, you know, when it comes to the Premier League, um Premier League teams, no matter where they are in the table, often beat out um, you know, uh, other European sides. Based off wages alone, there's that much money in the country. Um, when it comes to football, wages and stuff like that. But of course, that one would be a free transfer, and I think it'd be a, it could be a really good um, move for us if we can make it happen. And uh, the next one, we're going to move on to Yannick Balassi again, uh, and that's the 31-year-old knows he has no future 
at Goodison Park and Neil Warnock um, has told the Northern Echo. Um, pretty long quote from him. Obviously Neil Warnock being the middle for a manager. Um, I'd imagine it'll be around 3 o'clock on the 31st. That doesn't make things any easier, does it? Um, obviously they missed out on him in the last transfer window on deadline day. Um, it's like everything else in the world today. Everyone else wants to get a better deal. The player usually ends up at the bottom of the list. We're quite optimistic that something will happen. We've had a couple more players put to us this week, which hadn't been thought about. Things change all the time, but if the right one comes along, you have to try and snap it. So it sounds like Neil Warnock is pretty optimistic about getting Yannick Balassi. Um And if we can get him off the wage books, I spoke about this one so much. We can get him off the wage books and we can get a new winger in to... You know, challenge for for um, a place in the first team, which is what Balassi isn't doing at the moment. It will be a good move for for both sides, to be honest. Seeing Balassi, you know, drop down a league and probably, um, you know, find his level because uh, he, he, you know, he, he's not um, really being given much of a chance. But if Carlo Ancelotti doesn't favour him, then he's, he has to go and find himself some game time and you know if he goes out and gets it good luck to him because uh, I've always liked him as, as a person um, and he's been unlucky with injuries um, and then moving on to another one that I did not expect to see is that Jibril Sadibi everyone remembers Jibril Sadibi don't we um, and that is Sport Witness saying that uh, Jibril Sadibi is eyeing a return to England following his loan spell at Everton so he obviously enjoyed England Um and he wants to come back, apparently. So uh, he made 28 appearances for Everton, obviously, last season. Um, and he returned to Monaco after his loan spell. Uh, he wasn't great. He was pretty average at times. He had a couple of good games, but um, not one we should be looking at, I don't think. Um, Sport Witness say finding an actual replacement is on Everton's list of transfer uh, priorities because... As I mentioned earlier, Max Ahrens has been linked today. Um, and it seems that we could get a second shot at him, but I don't think we should take it, to be fair. Um, their article says that L'Equipe report that the right-back is on a list of players Monaco are likely to move on in January. Um, having found himself supplanted at left-back by Chao Enrique and Ruben Aguiar on the right. Um, it says he's thinking about a return to England, but I just... I don't know, he's a Premier League player, don't get me wrong, and he will probably find a team in the Premier League. I just don't think Everton's right for him at the moment. We need a young right-back, and Max Adams, for me, is the one that I want. And then uh, the last piece of um, news for you today, guys, is a comment that Carlo Ancelotti made after yesterday's match against West Ham when he was asked about Sammy Kadira. He said, the only truth is that the market is open, that's it. So... You know, he's keeping his cards close to his chest when it comes to Sammy Kadira. We spoke about him a lot. Um, he was the headliner for the last video, which got an amazing amount of support. Thank you so much for all the support on that video. It's cracked over a thousand views, got a lot of likes, um, some good comments, you know, good constructive comments about would you have him, would you not? You know, a lot of people weighing into the argument, which is what we want, it's what we're here for. Um, but that's going to be the end of this one today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel. Obviously, it's free. Why would you not? If you watch our videos, subscribe to the channel. You'll get them every single um, every single time they're uploaded. If you click the notification bell as well, you'll get a little notification whenever we upload. Um, and we're going to be doing more of these 24-7s throughout January, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for that. Follow us on Twitter at Everton Newsfeed. Also follow us on Instagram. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.